Welcome to Learn Daddy with Mark. In this video, we're going to learn about parsing ISO 8601 date time strings in Python 3.11. First things first, what is ISO 8601? So it's an international standard for date and time data. Uh, and generally, all the date time strings start with the year, but then after that, there's some variation. So it might be we have year, then month, and day. Perhaps we bring in a time zone uh, and a time. Uh, we might start with a year and then have a week number, or perhaps we have a year and then we just have the, the day uh, in the year. So there's all sorts of different uh, strings that fit into this format. And since Python 3.7, the date time module has had a from ISO format function that is able to pass some of these strings. And to be fair, it does identify that it's not going to handle everything. Um, but let's have a look at the state of things in Python 3.10. So if we come over to our command prompt, this is a Python 3.10 command prompt, and we're going to import the date time library, and then we're going to create this decorator function here. And this is going to make it easier to see what we've passed and whether or not it worked. It's going to print out what string did we pass, did it work or did it not, and then if it didn't, what was the error? And we're going to then create another function that uses that one just to wrap the from ISO format function. Okay, now what we've got here is we've got a list of date time strings. So we've got all different ones. So all of these are valid uh, ISO 8601 strings. We're going to see how well this function gets on. So let's iterate over those strings and see what happens. So the standard one with the year, the month, and the day is all good. If we take out the hyphens, <laughs> not so good. Uh, if we put in a, a time, so with hours, minutes, and seconds, that still works. Uh, if we put in the T and the Z uh, literals, it doesn't work anymore. If we do just the year and the month, that's no good. And then if we do the year and then the day also <laughs> doesn't work. Now, when I've come across these, uh, these date time strings that aren't working with the from um, ISO format function, I've been leaning on the date util library uh, for parsing them instead. And we can install this by going pip install python date util. Uh, and then it actually has this function called parser uh, under the parser module, iso parse, which does exactly what we need. So now we're going to have a look at how we get on with that. So let's import it into our uh, shell. Uh, and let's wrap it in a decorator as well. Now let's have it pass these strings instead. And so you can see now like all of them work. So that's cool. So, so <laughs> this, uh, this library's done a good job. Now that was, so was 3.10. What about 3.11? So let's move over to, uh, so, so while I was browsing the 3.11 notes, I noticed that there'd been some updates to the from ISO format function. And I, I, obviously it does say it doesn't support everything, but it, it suggests it's going to probably work on a few more um, date time strings. So let's, uh, so I was wondering like, is this the end uh, of the date to util library or my use of it at least? So let's go over to our other tab where we have Python 3.11 running. We've got everything else already loaded in that we did in our 3.10 shell. Uh, let's see how ISO format does here. So we're going to iterate over again and you can see this time it's much better. We've got much, many more greens except uh, the year and the month, that still doesn't work. And then the year and the day of the, the day that we're in the year, that also doesn't work. And so if we summarize uh, what we've learned in this video, so we can see like in 3.10, like a lot of those uh, functions uh, or date time strings rather weren't, weren't, being, weren't pr properly processed. 3.11 has improved things a lot, but it still hasn't quite got uh, all the way there like uh, Python date util has managed to. Um, so that's the end of this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any ideas for, or questions for, for things that I should cover, please let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.